first I'd like to invite Dr. Carrie Miller, who's an associate professor and the department head for Native Studies, and she'll share more about her department and the wonderful things you can learn there. Carrie, welcome. Bonjour, Gachekwe Indigena Kaz, Makwen Dodem, Ojibwe Anishinaabe and Dao. Um, I always like to introduce myself uh, in my original language of Anishinaabe, which is one of the things that we teach in our department. So Native Studies is an interdisciplinary, multidimensional field that examines and embodies historical and contemporary worldviews related to the social and political status of Indigenous people. In particular, we are approaching um, history, political studies, um, anthropology, um, social science through an indigenous lens, thinking um, uh, from that worldview perspective as we approach the work that we do in the department. Next slide would be great. So uh, Native Studies focuses on a, a millennia of indigenous experiences and they're in ancestral territories. Connection with the land is, is enormously important in the way that we understand ourselves and our places. It's one of the reasons that uh, we now do a territorial acknowledgement here at the university, and you may see those at the beginning of your syllabus for many of your classes. We also critically examine the societal processes that have had and continue to have an effect on Indigenous people in Canada since the time of European colonization. Colonialism is still ongoing. Um, the water that we uh, drink here in Winnipeg comes from Shoal Lake 40 First Nation, who by law are not allowed to drink that water. Our electricity is powered by hydroelectric dams um, that have flooded um, the active productive land on which many indigenous communities in Northern Manitoba have subsisted. So colonialism is not a thing of the past, it's ongoing and it's something that we investigate not only in its past context, but in its present context. So our degree programs, um, we have uh, both a minor in Native Studies generally, but also one specifically in Indigenous languages. Uh, the languages that we have available right now are Anishinaabe, Cree, and Michif. Uh, Anishinaabe, we now have uh, an Anishinaabe faculty member who has built us um, uh, a, both three and four year uh, programs. Um, and is also offering some support at the graduate level. Uh, we offer Cree uh, right now at the first year level. We're quickly going to be expanding into the second year level uh, and Michif just at the first year level. We also have uh, our major, our basic major is 30 credits. Um, an advanced major is 48 credits. It's the difference between a three year and a four year uh, degree program. We have a number of streams within that, our general stream in Native Studies, our Anishinaabe language stream, both of those can be done at the 30 credit level. And then at the fourth uh, 48 credit level, uh, level, you can do either a general uh, degree or our Aboriginal governance stream, which brings together uh, classes from Native Studies, political studies, uh, and the Asper uh, School of Business. So, we also offer master's and graduate programs, uh, doctoral programs. I'm not going to go into too much detail on those, but know that if, if this is something that really catches um, your interest, there are uh, additional levels that you can pursue these studies with as you go. Next slide. Oh, typical courses. Um, so, our intro courses, um, Indigenous People of Canada, Part 1, and Indigenous People in Canada, Part 2, those two courses um, are prerequisites for most of our other classes at the 2000 and 3000 and 4000 level. So we would encourage you to start there. That's a broad overview that uh, is going to bring the Indigenous presence back into um, the history that we understand ourselves through as Canadians. Um, I've also put on here some of our uh, introductory language classes. We also have classes that focus on specific communities because of course, as we look across Canada, there are more than uh, 600 different uh, indigenous communities. Here in Manitoba, uh, we have 
uh, a smaller number. We have 63 reserves representing seven different um, indigenous nationalities. Um, and so we also are focusing, have classes that focus on the Métis of Canada, Inuit society and culture. So what we do is not all First Nations, we do um, offer classes and content that is relevant to all of our Indigenous communities here in Canada. Some of the unique opportunities, um, we have the, of course, the graduation powwow that's offered through Migazi Agamek. Um, we have opportunities to work with Indigenous communities, particularly in our uh, Indigenous governance stream. We have a, a colloquium series where every Wednesday, an Indigenous uh, scholar or community member will come in and talk about their work and what they do. Um, and uh, all students are, are able to attend that. We have various workshops uh, that we conduct. It varies uh, depending on um, the semester and, and what comes up. And of course, we have the uh, Cree, Michif, and Anishinaabemwin language training. So a lot of people uh, say, you know, I'm really interested in Native Studies, but what can I do with it? Um, and so we wanted to put uh, a lot of, of different um, opportunities up here to really think about that. Uh, community educator, there are a lot of jobs uh, opening up right now in teaching in particular indigenous languages in the K-12 systems, uh, both in the frontier school district outside of the city, but also schools, school districts like Seven Oaks here in Winnipeg are also um, sending us emails. Do you have graduates? Do you have someone that, that we could hire uh, to teach our students? Journalism, uh, the APTN network is housed here in Winnipeg. It's where its central headquarters are. So uh, job opportunities there. Um, being a mediator, uh, we, we certainly see often uh, in the news um, situations where um, conflicts between communities and government need to be mediated. Um, I could talk about all of these going on and on, but I also really want to emphasize that this is an excellent degree for pre-law, for pre-medicine, and for, for education, nursing, or social work. Um, in particular, I think a lot of people don't realize how much of our courses really discuss uh, policy, and um, legal decisions, court, court cases, because that is the reality that Indigenous people live under. We're, we're governed by um, the Indian Act uh, here in Canada, which sets us in a different political class. What does that mean? How does it affect all of these areas? So uh, we have a number of students that have gone on very successfully in law. Medicine is now requiring, um, or, or, or may soon uh, require, the 1220 and 1240 for entrance into, into medicine. Because we have so many um, that we serve here in Manitoba coming from the north, flying, being flown in from the north. So all of these things, everywhere you look, um, there is a need for an understanding of indigenous communities. Indigenous people are 20% of uh, the province uh, demographics. This means one in five um, employers, customers, patients, um, all of, of, of the people that you work with as you graduate, one-fifth of them, one every fifth person will be Indigenous and understanding more um, about our shared history um, and, and the political status will put you in better stead. So that's my pitch. I hope to see some of you join us uh, and I'll pass the baton to uh, the next program. Thank you so much.